I know y'all don't want me to say this. I know y'all don't want me to have this conversation. I know that y'all want me to then look at Juneteenth as the best holiday ever. I don't know where it came from. I don't know how it became a banking holiday. I'm trying to understand whether or not the government buildings is open so that I can go and make sure that I can get my gun license renewed the proper way. But Juneteenth, Juneteenth, shout out to Metro Chicago. Around the city here in Detroit, we call it Metro Detroit. So all of the surrounding suburbs around Detroit, within a certain area or radius of the city, we call it Metro Detroit. Shout out to Metro Chicago. I've seen Juneteenth celebrations all around the city. I've seen that it was a fight that broke out over here in Pontiac, Michigan. A lot of people not familiar with the Yak. Shout out to Yak Town, Pontiac. I've seen a fight. They had a Juneteenth celebration down. i seen a fight. These dudes was fighting. One of them looked a little bit zesty, but he was getting the best of the other guy. I said, is this what y'all doing on Juneteenth? Music playing in the background and everybody gathering around to see who won the fight. I went ahead and drove off in a Porsche. But shout out to Chicago. Let's go ahead and get to it. Shout out to Chef DC. I'm going to be reading that super chat shortly. Make sure y'all hit a like for the YouTube algorithm. Subscribe to the channel and turn on y'all notifications. Uh, let's go ahead and get started with the show. That's right, Karen. And you know, unfortunately, there's still an awful lot that we do not know, particularly when it comes to the extent of the injuries. The person who passed away has not yet been identified. None of that information has been forthcoming from authorities yet. What I can tell you is that the strip mall where this shooting happened remains closed as investigators continue to look into the cause of this shooting. Now, because y'all said it's called Chicago land. The land around Chicago. I hear you. I hear you. I hear you. Y'all familiarizing me with it because I'm not going to go there to figure it out for myself. But uh, let's let's continue. The other side of the street is actually unincorporated Willowbrook. It is a DuPage County Sheriff that is in charge of the investigation. The spokesperson for the department telling us earlier that they still have not identified the people responsible for what happened. Dozens of shell casings litter the parking lot inside this strip mall. Look at that. At a Juneteenth celebration in Chicagoland. And you know the interesting thing about this is? Is that it's not just one story. Listen, I had so many different stories to choose from about what it is that happened over the weekend in Chicago, San Francisco, all over, right? I had at least... Five different separate situations. This just so happened to be the most egregious. Shout out to Chef DC. I'm going to be reading that short, uh, shortly. I had five different stories that was sent to me in my email that I had to choose from uh, before I could utilize this. But this just so happened to be one of the most egregious ones. 23 people shot, at least one killed. Do you see all of those bullet shells and casings that's, that's laid out across that ground at our cultural event at the thing that we're supposed to be celebrating i had over five different opportunities i decided to share one more we're gonna get into that but over five different opportunities or five different stories from the news alone we don't even know what happened that we didn't report on or what was missed and all of this other type of stuff but i want to show you what i identify as a massacre look like This should be called a terrorist event. Somebody sent me a, a, a message and they said, Anton, um, if only one person died, then it's not technically a massacre. So, OK, we got to wait till how many people die before we actually call to action and we get Black Lives Matters on the phone. I know they're going bankrupt, but it doesn't stop them from being able to make signs and go out there and pick it. Uh, we got to call. How many people dead before we start to get all of our leaders on the line, before we start to hold ourselves accountable and say, OK, is it the system that's setting us up? Because I know the system wanted to acknowledge Juneteenth. I don't know why they decided to put it on my anniversary, but the system wanted to highlight Juneteenth. And look at all of the random shell casings that's just laid out there waiting to be assessed by the detective. 
over there in Chicagoland or Willowbrook or Roseland and all of the other different spaces. I even tried to give Chicago a little bit of a break. I said, well, let's just go out to Metro Chicago. They, they corrected me. They said, well, it's called Chicagoland technically. I said, let's go outside of it to see if that part is safe. Because, you know, they always only want to say, well, it's the inner city. It's the south side of Chicago. I said, well, OK, let's choose some stories from outside of Chicago that's around Chicago in order to better assess how egregious our people are operating when it comes to the cultural norms that we embrace. So you telling me on the day that y'all supposed to be selling, celebrating each other the most. Y'all even got a day outside of February. That's not just black history. And this is what it is that we see. OK. Wall in unincorporated Willowbrook today, where shortly after midnight, at least 23 people were shot, one of them fatally, in what investigators describe as a peaceful Juneteenth gathering turned violent. Victims were taken to multiple hospitals in DuPage, Cook, and Will counties. The ages and conditions of victims are not available at this. He's so nervous. He nervous about saying the wrong thing because he know that y'all going to hold him accountable if he call y'all a monkey versus the people that actually was doing all of the shooting. He's so nervous to talk to y'all right now. Y'all got white people that's actually trying to investigate and figure out who shot who. Nervous? Nervous? Yo, Deputy Chief Eric Swanson, give us the stats, big dog. It's time. The motive behind this incident is unclear. This woman who did not want to be identified. What? Just so happened to be a black woman that decided that they didn't want to be identified. I wonder why they didn't want to be identified. Do you think it's a possibility that this black woman didn't want to be identified because A, retaliation, B, we have this no snitching culture, or C, all of the above? A, retaliation, B, no snitching culture, or C, all of the above? A, check. Can y'all do me a favor? Put in the chat whether you think it's A, give me A, B, or C. A, A, retaliation, B, no snitching culture, or C, both. Chat, let me know. Do y'all think it's A, retaliation, B, no snitching, or C, both? I'm curious. Sandy says C. International Ronan said B. I see a lot of C's. Mimi says C. A C. All C said all. Kuro says C. Look out below C. Dr. Wall C. I see a lot of C's up in here. I see a lot of C's up in here. Let me let let's talk to all of the witnesses and let's see what their perspective is. Because I see a lot of C's. I see a couple A's, a couple A's. Not so many B's. Okay, let's go. Fight says she was there when the gunfire erupted. Everybody started running. Um, there was a man, he fell on top of me. He had a gunshot wound in his leg. It was it was like something you won't imagine. According to sheriff's deputies, mm. they were monitoring the gathering, which began around... Look at all of those shell casings. Hold on, hold on. Yo, Fa Brown, give me a second. I'm going to read that super chat shortly. Fa Brown, look at this. Look at, yo, look at all of that carnage. Look at all of the little, the little things, the little numbers that they put where the shell casings are and all of the shootouts. My only surprise, my only surprise, ladies and gentlemen, is that more people have not ultimately succumbed to their injuries. That's the nice way of putting it that only 23 people were shot and that more people didn't succumb to their injuries. That's my only, only, only concern is, wow, I can't believe that this little of damage was done considering everything that's being shown right here on the screen. The gathering, which began around 6 p.m. in the vicinity of Hinsdale Lake Terrace at Honeysuckle Lane and Route 83. Called away briefly to respond to a 911 call nearby, deputies heard the gunshots and immediately returned. And out of nowhere, there was like a, a major gunfight for like 30 seconds, I'd say 60, 60 plus, you know, rounds. A major gunfight. A major gunfight. In broad daylight at a Juneteenth celebration in Chicagoland. 
A major gunfight broke out at a Juneteenth celebration where it had to be at least over 60 rounds. How many of those bullets was going into different places that we can't even identify? You know, bullets don't really stop until they hit a target, whether it's a wall, whether it's the ground and the concrete. How many of those bullets hit unidentified places or people or other things that we don't even know about? The damage, the carnage, the culture that we embrace the most. How bad was it really that we can't even really identify? How many people actually got shot that didn't want to say that they got shot that probably had warrants for their arrests? How many people got shot that didn't want to say that they got shot that was probably shooting back? Because they was a part of the gunfight. How long do we continue to embrace this culture? A gunfight at a Juneteenth event. Which basically tells me, listen, Anton, if you see anything that's that's popping off or if you see, yo, when I see people going into a club and it's a primary specific demographic. If I see an event and I know that it's primarily going to be a specific demographic, that's my cue to stay away from it. And you could tell it was like two different you know, groups of people shooting at each other. Those living across the street from the scene say this particular strip mall has, in recent years, attracted similar ad hoc gatherings. I would estimate there was probably 150 cars or so. It, it... So it was 150 cars there. You got this good white man right now, Rick Wagner. See, Rick, Rick and Jason, that was on the other one. Let me see. What was the other guy's name? Let me see. Bartos. Bartos and Rick, they're not afraid to show their faces because they believe in snitching. They believe that it's important to be able to clean up our community. And if we can get those CCC cameras those CCTV cameras and those ring cameras to be able to identify who was out here shooting. See, let me tell you what else is going on. This is just, this is just a theory, but this is my educated guess. This is my hypothesis, right? Nobody going to tell on nobody that was shooting out and having a shootout, and they're going to make it more difficult for the police. And you know what they're going to tell them? Let the police do their job. That's not my responsibility to point out who it was that was shooting. It's not my responsibility to point out who it was unless somebody that I know specifically are one of the ones that get ended up in the casket. They're going to say, shout out to Aaron, I'm reading Super Chat shortly. They're going to say, let the police do their job. I don't want to be on camera. It is up to them to find out who it was that was doing all of the carnage and the shooting and, and, and the thing that's the worst for us. They not going to want to identify it. They not going to want to talk about it. They not going to tell on them. They not going to get the killers off of the street. And if they do decide to get one of the killers, we know they're going to have a free Ray Ray t-shirt on. And that's going to be the end of that. Free the guys. Free, free my brother. Free my brother out here. He, you know what? He ain't supposed to be locked up. And then y'all going to be going on the flight fight club at night talking about how they giving black people more time than they giving everybody else or how is it that 13.6% of the population is the ones that's the most locked up? I'm so tired. I'm so tired of hearing the excuses and why we can't get it together. Eyes tired, boss. Eyes tired, boss say this particular strip mall has, in recent years, attracted similar ad hoc gatherings. I would estimate there was probably Tell him, 150 Rick. cars or so, it's it, all the way from one end of the parking lot to the next, and probably three to 400 people. It's just one of these probably social media things where everybody gets together and it just <laughs> balloons into that. I've talked to the police in the past, to Page County and Burr Ridge, and every time they said they were going to be able to do something. Or See, he out there calling the police. He said every time they're going to be able to do something. You know who's prohibiting the investigation? The free right rise homies is, is prohibiting the investigation. Shout out to Jack Covington. I'm going to be reading that super chat shortly. Try to do something about it. 
Now, at this point, the spokesperson for the DuPage, <coughs> excuse me, for the DuPage County Sheriff's Department tells us that they are still in the process of interviewing witnesses as well as those who were injured and gathering any surveillance video that may lead them to the people responsible for this shooting. What? Let, let's 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 pivot for a second. Let's use something else as an example. Let's see this other witness, Marquisha Avery. Marquisha said that she actually wants to talk a little bit more about what it is that happened. Hey, Marquisha, we see that you, unlike your, your friend over there, um, you don't mind being on camera. Let's see what hey, else. Mark and Samantha, good what morning to both of you. We know that there are at least 10 people shot overnight. Like you just said, Mark, two of those individuals are in critical condition at this hour. And check it out. There is still a massive police presence where this all unfolded in Willowbrook about five and a half hours ago. Police say this happened around 1230, but you can still see crime scene tape. A handful of officers scattered about investigating and even farther past where these officers now are. Now y'all got to pay them overtime. Now y'all got to pay all of the officers overtime in order to investigate and try to figure out who the fuck shot who. Cool. Are in this strip mall. You can still see debris on the ground right there scattered from whatever was happening before those shots were fired. A tri-state fire protection district official tells us there was some sort of large gathering near Route 83 in Lilac at around 1230. Now video shows a large police presence and debris scattered across the crime scene. A witness tells us, or she describes rather the chaos leading up to that shooting. It was supposed to be like a Juneteenth celebration. We just started hearing the shoot come before we had us, so we dropped down. Mm -hmm. We dropped down until they stopped. They just kept going. Um, after that, we literally scattered away and just started trying to check up on everybody that we knew, that we right. see. Now, Mark and Samantha, it's still unclear at this hour what led up to this shooting in the first place. You know, the witness, like, like you heard right there, was saying there was some sort of large gathering. But what was the moment that triggered? I know I'm muted. Am I muted? Good, because I said some egregious shit and I probably should have been muted. You see how God be working on my behalf? Marquisha, but Marquisha said, <laughs> did y'all see, did y'all see my, my gestures, though, while I was muted? Oh. <laughs> See, while they out here shooting out each other, Rita over here getting gifts delivered. You did this? Yes, I did that for you. <laughs> I love that boy ring, Rich. You're welcome. Thank you. This is so pretty. Oh, for me. <laughs> Honey, I'm talking about the people shooting each other up in Chicago. All right, let me get back to talking about these uh, these people, all right? Matter of fact, here, let's pivot. We don't even want to talk about that one. Let's talk about another one that was happening in Chicagoland. What? Chicago shooting, one killed, five others injured. Let's talk about that one. We're starting with breaking news. A mass shooting on the south side at a Father's Day park gathering. One person was killed and at least five people were taken to hospitals. CBS 2's Andrew Ramos is live in the Roseland neighborhood. Andrew, Chicago police just held a news conference. What did you find out? Uh, that's right, Charlie. We just heard from uh, CPD officials that confirmed that six people were shot, one of them now dead. Now, this all unfolded at around 750 here in the Roseland neighborhood. It, happened, it occurred at Smith Park, as you mentioned, uh, where a family. Hey, watch this. Hold on, hold on. Check it out. Let me show you something real quick. If you all look really closely, if you wind it just a little bit. Hold on. Let me see. Look at that. Lil' Kim headlining in nine, uh, night two of the Summerfest in, in Hyde Park. <laughs> right after that. Hey, hey, Lil' Kim is headlining uh, night two of Summerfest over in Hyde Park, y'all. Here in the Roseland neighborhood. 
Hap, it occurred at Smith Park, as you mentioned, uh, where a family gathering was going down for Father's Day. Uh, according to police, uh, a dark colored sedan had been uh, dro driving down South Princeton Avenue when that uh, gunfire broke out and just bullets started flying. Hey, hold, hold on to him, big dog. I know it was Father's Day. I know we got Juneteenth celebrations all over the weekend. Don't worry about it. At least five is hurt, but only one person is, is shot, so it's not technically a massacre, y'all. People started running, and in the melee, uh, five, uh, six people were shot, uh, and again, one of them died um, from, their, uh, from the shooting. Uh, according to officials, as we had mentioned before, it was a dark color sedan. What is that walking across the street? Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. We're going to make sure it get fixed. That's what they're looking for at this point. Uh, we did get a chance to speak to some residents who spoke to, uh, who talked to residents who were here on the, uh, on the street when everything occurred, and he described what a relative told him. My cousin just told me she heard some gunshots, hmm. maybe, I don't know, 15, 16 shots, and, uh, and a, a car pulled up, this guy shooting, and, and, and they started... I think it was like maybe 20 or more shots and, and everybody was ducking and stuff like that. Now, just to recap, six people shot, one of them now dead. Uh, we were told that the victims, their conditions are unknown at this hour. Uh, they were taken to local area hospitals where they're being evaluated. So it's unsure what their uh, condition is right now. Uh, and again, they're looking for a dark color sedan that they said opened fire on this Father's Day barbecue happening here. In the that really is going to narrow it down. Don't worry about it. That is going to narrow it down. They're going to figure out who it was, right? And what it is. They're going to figure out who it was and what it is. The fact that it is a dark colored sedan is going to narrow it way down over there in Chicago. They're going to figure that out.